Earlier this year, we announced a new collaboration with the creators of Fortnite, Epic Games, to develop a new entertainment universe. How many of you in the audience today play Fortnite? All right, that's great. So you probably recognized our in-game live stream that we showed just a second ago. This is a pretty big moment. Right now, Fortnite players from around the world are watching our show from inside the game. The folks backstage just told me there are more than one million people watching right now. And you know what? This is just the beginning. What we're working on with Epic is grounded in gaming, but it's going to be so much more than that. We're inviting you to play with Disney in completely new ways. So imagine a place where all your favorite Disney characters and worlds, they converge into one connected universe. Imagine a place where you can watch, play, even create your own Disney stories. Imagine turning everything that you love about Disney into a digital playground that you can play 365 days a year. Yeah, we are bringing the full power of Disney storytelling to this dynamic new environment. To talk more about it, please welcome some of the best storytellers in the world, Jennifer Lee, Pete Docter, Dave Filoni, and Kevin Feige. Thank you guys for coming wow. out. An exciting night at D23. Be careful there, Pete. Uh, you all shared some great news last night, so thanks for coming back on, on night two to D23. Uh, we've been talking about the possibilities for this collaboration with Epic Games. Uh, hundreds of millions of our fans have already played with our characters inside of Fortnite. Now we have a great opportunity for new ways to tell stories. So Jen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with you. How do you see our classic animated characters evolving in this new universe that we're yeah. talking about? Well, Josh, I can tell you that everyone at Disney Animation is so excited about the potential that we see in the collaboration with Epic. And I am especially excited because my daughter lets me watch her play Fortnite, like, for hours. Is she one of the <laughs> million people watching now, maybe? She may just be, right now, on Disney Horizons Island, so. <laughs> Hi, Agatha. It's your mom. <laughs> and I'm not embarrassing you at all, right now, in front of a million people, so. But seriously, we can't wait to create new ways for the audience to enjoy their favorite Disney characters and worlds. And now I know that this Disney universe is still in development, mm -hmm. but we didn't want to wait to share something with the Fortnite fans, which is why I am so excited that we are bringing Disney animation characters to the game for the first time this fall. Jen, that, cool. that looks, looks pretty amazing. And you're right, bringing these characters into Fortnite, it's just scratching the surface of what we're talking about here with, with Epic Games. Pete, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on the success of Inside Out 2. Pete Woo! Docker. The biggest Pixar film, in, in, animated film in history. It's, it's amazing, so congratulations to you. Yeah, team. thank you, it's pretty crazy. We couldn't be more proud of our team. They did a fantastic job. Well, we all know that innovation is such a, a crucial part of storytelling, and it's fundamental to everything that Pete, you do and your team do at Pixar. So getting to play in this new Epic Games universe, it feels kind of like a natural fit for you. Oh yeah, I mean, from Toy Story on, we've always looked at technology as a great partner with the storytelling that we're trying to do, 
pushing boundaries of technology so we can tell new stories is really what we do. And I feel like, in a way, this is a little, uh, reminds me of our short films, which we use to, use to test new technology and play with characters. And I really could see this as an extension of that process. Uh, we're excited about playing with new original ideas in formats with Epic. So the poss possibilities are endless. And, you know, Jen, I didn't want to have you let you and, and your daughter and, and the, the, the Walt Disney uh, animation have all the fun. So I am also thrilled to announce the first Pixar characters are coming to Fortnite this fall. And they are incredible. Be bold, dramatic, no capes. <laughs> Pete looks fantastic. Looks looks fantastic. Dave, I'm coming to you next. <laughs> what what you what you got for Lucasfilm? You, you got to show these two guys up, I'm sure. Yeah, we've we've been in Fortnite a little bit here, blowing things up and blasting things. The best thing about this announcement is you're going to get this stuff next week. No <laughs> way. I must warn you, it will draw many eyes. When one chooses to walk the way of the Mandalore, you are both hunter and prey. This is the way. Maybe I can get a little bit of that back bling myself. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. But Dave, as we, as we look out to this new universe, it, it seems to play to, to your strengths. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, video game Star Wars, George Lucas always believed in the kind of integration. We've blasted the Death Star in our lives, playing in old vector games as technology's improved, the graphics has improved. And a lot of times we're recreating the movies getting into that galaxy far, far and away. But now, you know, through the integration, we've even used gaming technology like Epic's Unreal Engine yeah. in shows like The Mandalorian in our environment. So we're always constantly looking for new ways to really take you, the fans, to our galaxy. And we're working on it. We're really excited ab about this collaboration with Epic and what it can mean for our galaxy and our storytelling. So uh, we're going to get you there uh, I'm with as soon as we can. I completely agree with you, Dave. And, you know, since you're here, why don't we tell everybody about that other thing that we've been working on? Yeah, this I'm really <laughs> excited about. If you're ever in the park, sometimes you might see me and a friend of mine named John Favreau. We love the parks. Yeah, John, he's the best. Uh, we love riding the rides and, and just going around Star Tours, all different things. Uh, we did a little research last Thursday in the park, yeah. just rode a particular ride a couple times because currently we're shooting a new movie called The Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, be out in 2026. <laughs> and uh, being huge fans, uh, we were really thrilled when Josh, you guys asked us to take a look at one of the rides and we're going to share something really cool. Uh, we are working with the Disney Imagineers to do a new Mandalorian and Grogu story for the Millennium Falcon ride, Smuggler's Run. There you go. That is cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Well, listen, flying the Millennium Falcon alongside Mando and Grogu sounds like a Star Wars dream come true. And of course, we're going to use the Unreal Engine to create it, so this whole thing comes, comes full circle. All right, hey, thank you, D23, and may the force be with you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kevin, coming over to you. Marvel's been already huge 
in, yes. in Fortnite. Yes. And the response that we've seen, just, just fantastic. It's been amazing. You know, going back to 2018, the relationship we've had with Epic is great. 2018 is when Thanos first stormed across the island in our Infinity Gauntlet event that was timed to our Infinity War movie. Uh, a few years after that, Galactus came and destroyed the whole island. And some of you, or the million, did you say million, John? Million People plus, watching, I said. Uh, may have seen that clip. That clip of Galactus destroying the island of Fortnite is so cool. I shared it with the team currently making the Fantastic Four movie to get that spirit of Galactus across. It's incredible what they're able to do. And what else I love, and my 11-year-old son who plays Fortnite every day, a lot of people learn about our characters for the first time, Thanos, Galactus, through Fortnite. So we get a chance that everybody can learn about our heroes and our villains for the first time, and that inspires them to then go look at our comics, go on Disney+, Plus, go to our movies. So this new collaboration is really remarkable. Games have become an extension of our storytelling, and I can't wait for everybody to see what we have in store in the future with this amazing collaboration. But that's the future. In the here and now, we have something I'm very excited to announce tonight. The next season of Marvel at, on Fortnite next week, August 16th. <laughs> and this, well, let's go. <laughs> and like Thanos and Galactus before him, there's a very iconic villain coming. It is a character you may have heard us speak about over the last couple of weeks. Coming to Fortnite is Doctor Doom. <laughs> Now we have an official trailer here. Do you guys want to see the trailer? Yeah. Roll it. Yeah. I don't mean to sound like a broken Yeti, but I thought I'd take this one last chance to pitch my ideas for new stuff in the parks. Take a seat. Today, I'm gonna melt your mind like it's a beloved 40-foot animatronic dragon. Welcome to Destination Deadpool 75. Why 75, you ask? Because I have 75 slides of Disney parks pitch goodness in store for you. Seriously, you should probably sit down. There's no chair up here. Isn't your title literally chairman? You know what? We're getting off topic. Behold, page one. Now that I've slid into your parks like an ill-advised midnight DM, I need more, and you need more of me. The possibilities are endless. Let's just brown sky for a bit. No, 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 no. it's blue sky. It's blue sky. <laughs> Not when I'm done with it. <laughs> Wink. Picture this, the Chimichanga Chaser, a dueling coaster attraction where you are the beef. Now pay attention, because this next one is going to be a bigger hit than an expensive Spider-Man animatronic against a wall. Halloween coming up? Deadpool's heck house is here. Keeping it clean for you, Disney. Enter the Hall of Baby Arms. Oh. And don't forget, I come as a package deal with Wolverine now. We got any Disney Marathon fans out there? Huh? I <laughs> see you, guy. Well, if you love the Princess Run and the Villains Run, now you can get ready for Logan's Run. Oh. That's right. Fun for the whole family. Except for Grandma and Grandpa. They're probably going to hate it. <laughs> Look, Deadpool, I, 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 
I appreciate, I appreciate whatever all this is, but the answer, Wade, no, not gonna happen. Oh, come on! <laughs> you are, you've already got a massive movie. I figured that'd be enough for you. Uh, but okay, how about this? We just talked about Epic Games a, a moment ago. What if I let you have like a new skin? <gasps> it's behind me, isn't it? No spoilers. I want to see in the game. Is he awesome looking? Does he have really muscles? He's handsome, right? Tell me he's handsome. Yeah, I guess so. Perfect. Then my work here is done. Hey, thanks again, buddy. You are killing it up here. Seriously, you are on fire. Like your dragon was. Twice. Some imagination, huh?